do. I've had some technological issues. Hopefully this is the end of my technological issues of the past week. I have my phone back. My Haps app did not want to connect with Facebook. So I had to go into Facebook, reset my password. I deleted apps, reinstalled apps. I've done it all. I've done it all, but I'm here because I really, really, really want to share today's card with you. I have, sorry, I have a mailman at my door. Mm, interesting. Um, so please say hello as you're coming in. Um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I papercraft and card make and I sell the products that I'm going to show you today. So I sell the products but I show you guys how to make a card. Hello Mrs Mitchum, how are you? And I do apologise for being late. Technology. But my baby is back. My baby got sent back to me yesterday from Apple with a Hey Naya, Hey Marjean, Hey Sylvia, Hey Bev. Um, but yes, all fixed, hopefully. Hey Mary, thanks for joining. So today I am reinventing a card that I made. Um, now we did a butterfly card last week. Hey Alice, I did a butterfly card last week using um, the butterfly bijou um, paper, which is sold out. Oh, thank you, Naya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, oh, the dog's moving. Someone's been at the door with the package. It's all happening here, all because I'm running late with my life. So this is the card that we are going to be reproducing today. So I have used the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set and the Butterfly Bijou paper. That is sold out. So unfortunately, you can't get that paper, but um, we will be... I'll be showing you a way that we can recreate this. And I can show you. So this is the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set that we'll be using. And I have grabbed another stamp set that is available right now, the Floating and Fluttering set. And we'll be using um, this stamp across a strip and colouring it in with our alcohol markers to create... A very similar effect so it won't be the same but it will be similar and we'll see how it turns out I'll show you one I made in class with my ladies because I have already made this card so I've already made a strip which I did very very simply um, no mucking around very simple um, just using one layer of colours, even though they're blends, I didn't necessarily blend colours because I want our big butterfly, our large butterfly, to be the star of the show. Thank you, Deb. Um, I took the colours from the paper, so a lot of the time everyone goes, great colours, great colour combination. Uh, but, oh, you're on a break from on stage. How exciting. Well, I'll keep you amused while you're on your break, but don't forget to go to the toilet and get some snacks while you're on on stage. And then when you finish, come back and watch my replay because I know you don't want to miss this card. I'm so glad you love to craft, Naya. Oh, you have this sweet. That's awesome, Alice. Hey, Myrtle. So I think now I've got people coming in, people chatting. You guys can all chat together while I craft and I'll, I better get up my second screen so I can see all your lovely, lovely comments. Oh, thank you for sharing, Myrtle. I do appreciate that. Okay. That all looks okay. So I'm one child down at the moment. I've been to the beautician with myself and my eldest. So we've had there, put petrol in the car. You did your first pair of bling shoes. Real bling shoes, Naya? Or like as in you attached bling two shoes or a stamp and you blinged it up? I need more information. Hey, Leanne. 
Okay, I just need I just need to move my water bottle. I remembered my water today. Rhinestones stuck onto like high heeled shoes. Uh, I I'll be using very pretty opal rounds today on this card on shoes. Ooh, uh, my shoes are orthopedic shoes. I'm not allowed to wear anything else orthopedic shoes. I'll flick you around. I um actually craft because I have a peripheral neuropathy. It's called Charco Mari Tooth. Um, so my shoes are really boring, the ones I'm allowed to have. They're granny shoes. So for me, it affects my wardrobe choices. So at the moment, I'm just in a pair of jeans. I don't wear dresses because that's a bit of a tripping hazard. But, yeah, it's okay. I have fun with ring oh, nails. I don't have my other rings on today. I feel I because I went to the beautician, so whoop, I'll slide my other ring on now or one of my other rings. I don't even have my bangle on. Um, yes, I am actually multicasting, Alice. I am on the, I multicast from the HAPS app um, and I'm talking to Naya on the HAPS app. Sneaks, you bling, lovely. There you go. Feel a bit better now. Got my jewellery on. I already had this one on. Um, and from HAPS, I can multicast to... YouTube and Facebook at the same time, Alice. So, yeah, if you're missing some of the comments, the ones I'm saying, it's because they're on one of those two platforms. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my nasty shadows and we'll be back to recreate this part. David, I'm just going to shut this door. Just telling you. Right, husband knows I've locked him out. Finally, there was a lock on my craft room door. Ah, uh, HAPS, H-A-P-P-S. Hello, Miss Carol. Cover up those naked wrists. Well, I already have my bracelet on. My bracelet doesn't come off. But this bangle has a story. It's like 20-year-old 20, 20 bangle that I misplaced next weekend last year and it was lost for about nine months and I was so sad because my husband bought it for me when we were still just going out and um, the girls know here I was pretty shattered I couldn't find it um, but I did find it and all is good with the world um, I am going to grab these out I was playing with this stamp set, I'm going to use this for a card front. I really love how I've stamped the butterflies off the edge. That'll make a beautiful card front. But I do just need our big Butterfly Brilliance background stamp. If I grab out what I need now, will be... Uh, where are you from? Oh, sorry, Naya. I am from Australia. I am in a town, well, yeah, a town called Gosford. I'm a bit north of Gosford, and it's an hour and a bit north of Sydney. I'm sorry. I didn't say where I was from. How rude of me. So, yes, I am not too small I am down under and it's a lovely it's a beautiful autumn day here in Australia like look I'm wearing short sleeves ah yeah give us a couple of years and we'll let you in we're being uh very we are being very strict at the moment, which for us... Now, for anyone wondering, all my cut and coloured bits and pieces that I haven't used on other projects, I keep in a medium envelope um, in the stamp set. So when I think to go and use the stamp set, I can see if any of these bits and bobs are going to be useful on the project that I'm doing. Oh, thank you, Alice. Yes, exactly, exactly, and 
I do this for my hands and I do it because I love it. It's sort of all my mum's fault. Hello, Miss Anne. I am well today. Um, I'm very excited because my girlfriend's house just settled. She's first first homeowner and she settled on her house like five minutes ago. I can't send her a I, she'll understand, but I can't send her a congratulations just yet. Okay, so I'm putting this stamp in my Stamparatus. Let me move things. Everything's everywhere today. Right, that can stay there. And I will just, for the moment, pop the card here so you can see what I'm doing. So what I want to start with, and I think... From the supplies I have, we're just making a single card. So this is Mint Macaron cardstock. And I could stamp with this stamp in Mint Macaron ink. But I want an even softer effect than Mint Macaron ink. So I'm going to use... Versamark ink. Now I use Versamark ink in my last video to heat emboss. So that nice raised embossing. Now this is a beautiful sticky ink but what it also says it's a watermark stamp pad. So what this will do and I'll leave this on top here you get a beautiful soft watermark effect. <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious Alice so what state in the US Naya um, but yes you get a beautiful watermark effect that's a bit softer so I want texture in the background of the butterflies but I want the the other strips to be more of the hero of the card so I just want this nice and soft in the background so you can see it but it's not competing I oh, you live in Mississippi lovely part I haven't been there um, but I have been to the US when I was younger Oh, that's okay, Alice. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm all good. What you're going to... Is WV... I don't get... Hang on. The card opens. This is what I have to do for my brain. This is real-time crafting. So the card opens that way. We're doing it upside down, so it needs to go this way. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop it down. I'm going to move our example card. I'm going to close this over and I am going to, this is just a whiteboard eraser or dry eraser. I, Because I have issues with, you know I have issues with my feet, but I also have issues with my hands. This makes my hand in a nice neutral position and not like this or like this. It just keeps my hand in a neutral position where I can add a lot of pressure to my stamp and get that beautiful ink transfer without causing me pain. Hello, Misty. Thank you for joining. Oh, West Virginia. Thank you, Deb. Okay. And then we get these beautiful images. Now, these will dry darker. Not quite centred, but, you know, we can live with that. So I'm not using my Stamparatus anymore, so I will find a space for it, she says with hesitation. Okay. Oh, that was a stretch. And next... I'm going to clear more space, apparently. I think I need to empty my pouch, and then I will have more space. Put my pouch where it belongs. And would you believe, after my last video, I found, like, three more pieces of that clear acetate. They'd fallen on the ground. Would you believe... I'm checking everything, but I don't have... Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, I do. It's hiding. 
an extra strip of Whisper White cardstock. And you guys all saw correctly, we will be um, using some vellum. From Texas. No, I haven't been to Texas either. I've been to Nevada. No, only Nevada, not Arizona. So Nevada, California. I swear I flew into Washington. I've been to San Francisco. Not so much LA, Anaheim, of course, because I went to Disneyland. Um, and I really enjoyed San Francisco. Yes, they would be. And that's, I'm thinking if these are a little too much, I could quite easily mute them with a piece of vellum. So depending on if, because I think this butterfly does get a touch lost. So if we cut a strip of vellum to pop over there or over it, then that doesn't compete so much. So you are exactly right, Deb, and I was already there with you, okay? So let's grab our Memento ink. Now, the reason we're using our Memento ink is because it doesn't smear when we use our alcohol markers on it. Yeah, you've been watching me way too much and you know about my love affair with Vellum Deb. And Deb, I don't know if you were here last time. Cindy's Vellum got delivered. So Cindy now has her Vellum and she will now find her lost packet now that the other stuff's been delivered. Okay. Okay. I don't know how this is going to stamp. I'm not convinced this is going to stamp well. So I'm going to stamp it off once. Yep, that was pretty bodgy. But what we do is always stamp it off once to see how bodgy it is. And then we start again. I do just have my silicon moving this card. This silicon mat under here just to give me a... If I can pick up my piece of paper to give a little pressure so we can get a better impression. Okay, let's ink this up again. Hopefully, look, it'll be what it will be. It doesn't matter because this is our background, so this bit does not have to be perfect in any way, shape or form. The middle of this butterfly just does not want to stamp, want to ink up. Yes, so do I. And I wish I had the thought of it during class because even though everyone, like, loved their cards, I think for me it would have looked... A little nicer so I'm just going back in and filling in some of these dead spots with some leafy greenery because when you explode something off the edge of a page um, it just looks more organic I know people hate that word but it just looks like it's meant to be it looks like I've come along and chopped this piece out okay going to put my memento away. Well, I just used what I had because I was, I'm going to clean this stamp as well, just because I can see myself getting uh, black ink everywhere. So this is our stamp and scrub. This is our stamp and mist. I normally only use my chamois on photopolymer stamps, but it's as dry as a bone and all shriveled up. And I don't fancy asking David to go and wet it for me. So you wet scrub and then you dry and it's all ready to put away. Quick and easy. 
not that I'm putting it away now, but it is ready to put away. Okay, I'm going to take away this piece of paper because it's a titch distracting and we're just going to colour on our silicon mat. Now, these are all the blends I've got. I don't have perfectly matching colours, but I have very similar colours. So this is dark mint macaron. And because we have used so much mint, and I've got shaky hands today, girls, because we have used so much mint macaron i'm just going to go in and get this small foliage with the light mint macaron so just that small foliage and as i said earlier i'm not blending today and i do have just jade as well but i think i'm going to use my light just jade to do our larger foliage so it's it's actually a good color to pair with mint macaron especially the light and the dark this is really hard to move on silicon i know that's the whole point but finding it difficult now i'm not being perfect you girls who've been here before know this. It's called getting it on and getting it done. It's a handmade card. It's not Hallmark. I'd love to know who thought, who said that first because it is so true. And no one's going to say, the card Alice gave me, sorry, Alice, I'm just dobbing you in here. Um, the card Alice gave me, oh, my God, they coloured out of the lines. Okay, you do. Uh, oh, yes, it always seems to happen that I have three bottles of poppy parade in Greenfield. Don't even have the ink pad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I own all of them. I'm very lucky. Hello, Linda. Um, you like creating DSP actually better with nice bold outlines. There you go. So I think I'm finished with those ones. I'm going to. I think I'll, I'll sh I should show you this one that's here. I don't think I'm going to use the Uber Bright Pink, which is our Magenta Madness. I may even pull in some our Dark Petal Pink for ooh, that one's a bit juicy for our butterfly down here. I may just add in some Petal Pink and then go in with Light Flirty Flamingo for some real pink accents. So just going down the sides here. So you can see, because this is uber wet, that you can see I've got the two tone, but it is subtle. Oh, not a problem at all. No, we do not do perfect. Just trying to work out what's going on with my haps up today. No, it says I've got great connection. My replay's a bit in and out. So hopefully that is all okay. Okay. No, we do not do perfect. So this is our light mango melody. But I'm thinking what I learned from this one is to go even lighter. So I'm thinking I may go dark so saffron. And then maybe add in some accents. Oh, my God. Please no. Oh, I think I need to check and see if I have a new one of this. Look how bad that tip is, guys. It's okay. It's been used. It's been loved. And it's just time to replace. So I've got that there. And then... I may even go in with Daffodil Delight and do what I did with the other one and just go down the edges of... Is anyone else's replay crapping out like my one? It is a bit glitchy, but the audio is not. 
I'm thinking I don't know what Wi-Fi network I'm on. I may, I and I, look, I'm breaking my own rule about doing it simple, but I do like those two tones together. Just give me a sec and I'll be back. I'm just going to change my Wi-Fi, guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Just let me see. Let me see. I'm just going to take you out of my holder for a second. Look, you can see my nice storage over here. Let me right flick my screen and then we're back. No problems, Barbara. We're just... Just struggling with a few things today. You know, life can't be perfect when you're live broadcasting. Okay, with this, I will have a drink. Okay, I really like that yellow. I think I'm going to create, recreate that yellow down here. Because I really, really like what I did. Actually, no, I'm not. Because I'm going to do a big yellow one here. So maybe I am better to do... I may even do another mint macaron one. We shall see. Now, I have Calypso Coral. Because that is kind of this one. We'll see how we go. Because... These three over here are going to be covered. So I do have this Calypso Coral on my list to purchase a new one. Okay, so let's get my dark Calypso Coral and just go along this edge. Now this one will definitely need blending because the colours are further apart so all I do to blend this edge I just go in and I just do teeny teeny circles which as you can see blends it in gives it a nice fade and hopefully I've shown you with this one with the so saffron and then the daffodil delight you don't need to use the pair of colors you can oh good I'm glad yours is good Hopefully I'm better now because out of the corner of my eye, I could see it, the fade in and the fade out. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this one in Calypso Coral again. And I think I really want to do a mint macaron one. So I love the alcohol or stamp and blends because they really make coloring easy like super easy I don't have to think I just know if I'm happy to grab the two calypso corals they go together I do this and I've got a beautiful color without too much fuss oh good thank you Deb thank you yep I've got, I'm lucky I've got two Wi-Fi's here at home, but I have gone directly to my, um, directly to my modem at the moment. So here is our nice big pink friend. This is a uh, dark flirty flamingo. Didn't mean that. I meant to grab the light one, but that's okay. We will grab that. Then I will grab, where is my light magenta madness? My light magenta madness. Trust me here, guys. I'm not sure I trust myself. I'm going to see if I can make this work, right? So we've got like more of a peachy pink. And then we've got like hot pink. And I'm going to go back in with the dark floaty flamingo 
and see if we can blend these and see how it looks. I reckon that looks really cool. Tell me what you think. I really like that. I'll have to remember that. The Flirty Flamingo and the Magenta Madness together. Hello, Sharon. You have arrived. We'll give you some fanfare. Since Australia is kind of cut off from the outside, do you? Yes, we are still getting international mail. It was New Zealand who stopped mail completely. Um, they, they actually shut down all their mail. Now, I think I need to do this one. Go back and maybe do a mint macaron one, like the light mint macaron. Hmm. The light mint macaron and the light just jade. Or maybe the dark mint macaron and the just jade. Yep, dark mink macaron and light just jade for this one. And then that is our pattern paper strip all done. So whilst all our leaves are... Um, just single single color I did do a bit extra even more extra than what I did in my class on these so just go down our edges here oh, beautiful. because I find if you color um, all the individual cells it's sometimes a bit too psychedelic the Calypso Coral is really pretty. It's a bit of a, it's, it's actually a well-used colour in the Stampin' Up! range. Oh, I really like that. Oh, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I am going to put all of these away later. I always have lots of little containers on my desk. And they go, oh, do you know what I have to do? We need to colour a big. Do I have a big one in my thing here? I don't think I do. I think I need to cut a sheet out. Okay. Don't put away my blends yet, but I do need to get out the corresponding dies. And which sheet do I want to use? I kind of want to use this sheet because I did better stamping with it. Just bear with one second. Thank you, Alice. As I said, I followed the colours that were kind of already in the paper. So there wasn't reinventing the wheel or anything like that. Click, click. Quack, quack. Get my plates. So I have plate one, plate two, and two plate threes. Just bear with me while I find the dies because they're not. I've gone through these dies so much recently, even though, oh, no, here we go. No, they're not the right dies. They're the floating and fluttering dies. Not helpful. Sorry guys, just talk talk amongst yourselves. While I'm here, I'll get something out for that. I can see it. Of course, I went back to front to back instead of going back to front. Okay, so these are the dies. And the dies come with the beautiful outlines. But we're not going to use those today. I am going to grab... This cuts all those butterfly images in one pass. Hooray. Now we've just got to get our lining up. So put our pre-stamped. So this was stamped in Memento. I know that because I think that's all I've stamped these black ones in. Okay. There you go. That is done. Did that move? Barely. So what I do, 
I am now going to hold this top plate down until this grabs in the machine so it's not going to move. That's my little hack. Uh, right, okay. Now, that's all our butterflies done. Put this all away properly. Put our cute little stamp and cut and emboss machine away. Pop out all our butterflies. I love the does it in one pass. And then you've got butterflies for another project. Okay, my youngest child is home from their adventures this morning. Bundle these up and just pop them up there. Okay, are we going to do yellow? Yes, we are. So what I might do, I might mimic this one with a few more yellows. So let me grab out all the colours that we have used. And yellow. Okay. So I think I'm going to go over it in the dark the dark soft saffron to give a nice overall colour because that was a really, really nice base. And I may even have to darken up that body a bit with like light basic black or a smoky slate. I'm not too worried that I got a bit of yellow. I'm also not too worried. I can tell my youngest is home. They're incredibly loud. Hopefully they got some yummy lunch while they were out. Okay, so that's the light down. Next, I am going to grab dark daffodil delight and then we'll go into our mango medley because mango medley is a bit more orange than our daffodil delight so i'm just going over these it, the good thing about this um these images they tell you exactly where it's dark um, I'm going to leave that. Maybe I do this cell and I do this cell just so we do have a bit of colour there. And then I'm going to go in with our light daffodil delight because if I don't like it, I can always, and I don't like it, I'm going to go in with our dark daffodil delight that was just there we go that's the intensity of color that i wanted so you can see we've got the nice build up of the three out of totally different colors we've got that intensity and then i will go back in with the light just down these regions here. So then you've still got the fact these bits are lighter and I'm not actually going to go in with any blending. I'm going to leave this just like that. Just going to go and hit those areas that I hadn't hit and I do need to darken up its body. And I need to find my other one. Because I think I need to darken up its body as well. So you can see I went similar but different. This one's a bit darker. And this is light basic black. So we're going to try it on my first one first. Oh, hello, Vanessa. Hello, Miss Cindy. Sorry, I've missed so many messages. Oh, thank you, Brianna. Oh, no problems. Enjoy your dinner. Nice. I am just finishing 
well, not just finishing up, I'm almost at assembly stage because we had some technological issues at the start and I started about 20, 25 minutes late. But I'm pleased, you'll be pleased to know that my normal phone that I broadcast on is now back in my possession, but Facebook and the Haps app didn't want to talk to each other until I gave it a bit more than gentle persuasion. Okay, so there are those two done. Now I'm finished all my colouring. Okay, so the original that we're adapting, okay. I don't need my silicon mat right at the moment. I'm not sure if I'll need it again. Now, Cindy, this is where you need to get your vellum out because we decided that possibly these two strips are a bit bright and that we may tone them down with a piece of vellum. But first of all, I do have a piece of blushing bride to adhere both of these with. Do you know what? Where this isn't well stamped. Ha ha. See, you can fix up your not so great stamping. Fixed. Looks so much better. I think I need to re-ink my memento ink pad as well. Okay, let's stick these layers together and then we will decide what we are doing with our vellum. So having a look at the back side of the paper, that is all normal, okay? The alcohol markers really do sink in to our paper. So it is always worthwhile to have a scratch. Now that's the right side. A scratch piece of paper underneath. Um, just in case you feel like you're going to flood that piece of paper with too much ink. And I just remembered my, um, my 3D printing man has more of those um, glue holders for me. And I've been terrible at not picking them up nor paying him. Lucky he's my friend. Okay. Right, terrible, terrible friend. So we'll just let that glue set. I love them like this, but I think when we put the other butterflies on, I think we may just need to mute them down a little bit. Just a titch. Now this, oh, that's way too short. That's okay. That can just be, have a frame around it. That was a good catch. Lucky I didn't put that glue all the way to the edge. Right. And this background isn't stamped so well. So I'm going to like cover up. Oh, that piece is too long altogether. Oh, is it too late? Is it too late? Nope, it's not too late. So if I butt it up and then we'll cut off the edge. Da, da, da. And look, I'm not playing, playing with sprinkly bits today. So we're not going to have a sprinkle avalanche when my hand tremors like we did last time. Now I've got glue on myself, hand sanitizer, to get that glue off. Yes, there is Cindy. There is. Yay! Have you found the other vellum because you lost the first lot? That's what I wanted to know. Yeah, we were talking about you before you're in the room, Cindy, so you know. I'm just playing. Yeah, this one definitely needs a strip of vellum across it. So now I need my ruler. Let's grab 
the closest one. So this is, uh, oh, I measured this in inches, obviously. No, I didn't. Sorry, yes, I have just gone really quiet. 4.1 centimetres by the width of the card. Right. I'll cut two. Okay. So the width of the card is that. And yes, that piece of vellum will go in the bin. No one die. Oh no, they so not good, Cindy. What do I say? Ah, it must be there. Must have been that line right there in the inches that I was getting to. Okay, blade down there. One strip. And. Two strips. I don't think these are cut straight. Not when I'm left with that. Whoops. Ten made. Ten made. Are you sure Eric didn't um didn't throw it out, Cindy? Oh yeah, I'm way too wide on one side. Way, way, way too wide. And this one isn't cut straight either. Oh, well. Okay, so we've got to work out where we're going to be adding our butterflies because that will determine where our first piece of glue goes. Now, we cannot use wet glue with vellum. Please learn from my mistakes because that will buckle the vellum so I'm just using my do you know what because it's buckling that way I will turn it over so then it sits flatter towards the edge and then this can go there and then I will pop our first piece there and then line this up as best we can. Maybe I shouldn't have put that there because that is off the edge of the card. Okay, just this glue will still be hidden, trust me. I don't know if you do trust me at this point, but this glue will still be hidden under a um, under a wing. Okay, there we go. And you can still even see the shading through the vellum. So that just muted that down nicely. Oh, I've used the wrong butterfly on the wrong one. It's okay. I want my other butterfly. On that one I want this one so I'm using the stamp and seal plus if anyone wants to keep on ripping their butterflies off the vellum and putting them back down I recommend the stamp and seal plus and I'm making sure I'm putting this on an angle so it's a bit more organic and looks like it's flying not that it's I like butterflies totally center sometimes just not all the time okay so I'm going to put my glue about there yeah is this sitting better one particular way yep that way because I know roughly where I'm going to put my bit now I can very easily guesstimate where it's going to go okay 
take this and that can go right there. So I left this card on purpose with no sentiment uh, because, frankly, it didn't need it. So now that we've done with the vellum, I am going to switch back to my wet glue to adhere my paper strip because paper to paper works really well with wet glue and gives me wiggle room for when my hands decide to have a tremor. But it just doesn't work with vellum. Hello, Miss Glenda. Yes, just catching me right at the end. Oh, bye, Vanessa. I'll see you on the replay. Okay. And about there. And then I will trim off the excess. I do like to line it up with the spine and then go out from there. Okay, that is not straight. Mind you, that's sort of a theme. No, now I'm going off the bottom of the edge. That's a little better. Okay, we're just going to leave that one now and then we will come back in with our opal rounds. And it's a brand new pack of opal rounds too, unless I have some. I may have a couple sitting in my storage, but I know I'm due to open that pack. Thank you. Well, it's called redesigning and as Tim Gunn says, make it work because that's literally the only choice I had with this card, because this paper sold out like the day before my class or the night before, and I'd had this. This is my postponed class from when we had uh, floods and no power and all of those types of things here in Australia a couple of weeks ago. I've got a couple of opal rounds left. Um, so I was fine for the first scheduled class, which was on the Sunday, but by the time we hit the Friday night, which is when I rescheduled the class, the paper light sold out on the Thursday or something. Not a problem, Kathy. I'll catch you soon. I'll be back uh, next Tuesday. And the kids will be back at school. Woohoo! Although, I must admit, it has been a pretty good school holidays. Okay, right. Now, if I put any of these on the vellum, like one here, I can put a glue dot under the opal round and then under the vellum, under the opal round, and then that will further adhere it to the card okay so one here so I want to kind of do a cluster of three so this one's going to stay here all by itself can you see I'm like totally desperate to finish this and put like one there and that creates our visual triangle and then I'm going to put one here, one here. Yay! All finished. Recycling. Rubbish. Done. New pack out. So satisfying finishing a pack. So, so, so satisfying. Okay. Then I need a big one for over here. So I use our take your pick tool because it just works so well. I just love that you've got your little blue tack goober end and it just works so beautifully. Okay, so we want like one up there. One up there. I'm never shy with these ones because they just add such a beautiful sparkle to the project. 
And do you know what? I'm going to add another big one up there. Come on. Come on. Thank you. And then I'm just going to pop a little one just there. Okay, so then I can add my glue dot under that and that is our piece of vellum adhered enough that it's not going to like flap around in the breeze. Thank you, Miss Cindy. Okay, mini glue dots. Am I clearer today um, than I was in my last few broadcasts? I'm just wondering really if the camera in my phone makes a difference. Right. And I have folded that glue dot in half to go under there. So now you can see these ends do lift a bit, but that's the whole floaty nature of vellum. Okay, glue dots are dealt with, so I just folded that in half, lift this, line it up, put pressure on it to have it on there. I haven't spent this time fussy cutting some flowers. Oh, awesome, Anne. I like productivity and that is a great use of your time. Now I'm going to... Um, Cut this end off. Now, if you wanted to add a simple sentiment, I would recommend using the uh, Many Messages stamp set to do that. And I'm totally using the wrong scissors for my hand strength today. But that's okay. Get it done. Um, the Many Messages, because they are nice and... They're nice and small and they're not overpowering because the two stamp sets we use today are images only. But the Many Messages stamp set, this one right here, has lots of little fine sentiments that would go really well just up here or on this part. You could have it popping out from under the wing, uh, but... They look, I love adding a sentiment, but I think these cards look equally fantastic without a sentiment. So, yes, that's the cards done, girls, and my little um, suggestion there. What I want to do is, if I don't do this now, I'll be crying tears later so I'm going to pop this die properly away or well, mostly properly away all these little ones over here have moved aha there we go almost right rhyme and reason they are all in Now I want to know which bit you agree with, Cindy, because I've spoken so much. Thank you, girls. Do appreciate it. And, of course, any gentlemen that are here or anyone of anyone of uh, any gender is welcome here. Okay, so that is the card that we started with. This is the card. I'm just going to leave. No. Yes, this is the card that we made together today and this is our interpretation of it with current products. I have also grabbed in the opal rounds, but we haven't actually used too much. We've used two stamp sets for the images. We use the stamp artist for the background stamping. We cut out, and I'll show you... This one, we cut out our whole sheet of butterflies to get our big butterfly. 
and then we embellished it and used a touch of vellum. So on this one, I do have the butterfly sitting on a round of vellum. My pleasure, and I will be showing you one of my cards from this Sunday's class next Tuesday. I don't know which card that'll be, but um, it will be a card with current product from the annual, no, from the uh, January to June mini catalogue. I've got too many catalogue names. Now, if you guys wanted to purchase any of these products, you can do so by visiting the, my website, which has uh, Shop Now links, or I'll have a, I might, depending on where you're watching me, I may have a Shop Now um, button there ready as well. So thank you so much for joining. Any questions, please ask. I do hope you've enjoyed. Have an amazing weekend. I hope the weather is lovely for you. And I will catch you next week. Bye.